welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland and a little Asda grocery haul. Now, it is a week shopping, but um, my husband isn't eating this week because he's night shift, so it's for me and the two girls. Today is Sunday the 9th of May, and I'm not sure when this will go up, so don't worry about the dates, we did check them all in the shop. Right, let's get into it. We will start with the frozen things. Not much in the frozen department this week. We got a pepperoni pizza for Abby and a cheese and tomato pizza for Brooke. And we're having a movie night tonight, so we got some ice cream. We got a good old favourite Ben and Jerry's cookie dough. And also, I hadn't seen this before, Ben and Jerry's double chocolate cookie dough twist. So it's chocolate ice cream with a swirly chocolate cookie dough centre and chocolatey chunks. Oh, that is chocolate heaven. <laughs> so that's all we got in the frozen department this week. So I will put that away and then come back to you with the chilled stuff. Right, fruit and veg. I didn't get much as always. We never do in our stuff. Um, I got a pack of three sweet peppers. There's a red, a yellow and an orange in there. Um, I got two nets of oranges. It's the proper big oranges that Jack's liking just now. So we got two of those. And we got a pack of bananas now. I always go on a rant about bananas. These ones aren't too bad because they're still green but they're turning yellow. But all the loose ones were bright green. Now, I know people say it's good because, you know, they last longer. Well, first of all, I want a banana now. I don't want it in a week's time. And second of all, in, if you buy them when they're properly green like that, that usually means they've been picked too early and they won't ripen properly and I don't like a banana that's not ripe so these will go a nice yellow colour but the proper green ones usually just go from green to a sort of dark browny colour and they're not very nice at all anyway rant over about bananas I got this pack <laughs> as normal we got the three for ten pounds but I got some different things this time because Jack's not eating with us so we can have chicken thighs that uh, Jack doesn't normally like so I got the extra tasty British chicken breast steaks which look lovely and Peri Peri British chicken thigh fillets. Now these look lovely. I love chicken thighs. To me it's a lot tastier than chicken breast. But like I say, Jack doesn't like them. And this looks amazing. Spanish style chicken and chorizo casserole. Look at that. Oh, you can't see it for all the condensation. It's basically succulent British chicken thighs and drumsticks in a spiced glaze with onions, peppers and rich chorizo and you just shove that in the oven for 45 minutes so yeah that looks good and as part of the 3 for £10 deal I thought that was really quite good because it's a good size we got our normal burgers, the red onion and cheese burgers, I love these um, they are gluten free as well for anybody who can't take gluten and they're just a lot tastier than normal burgers I got Brooke's favourite microwave cheeseburger, which tastes like plastic to me. And we got the dogs sea dubs. They had them this week. They've not had them for a few weeks, but they did have them this time. So they go in the freezer raw and then they get them as a treat. On to the side dishes now. We got the potato croquettes that we love. The crispy potato slices that we all love. Sweet potato fries, another favourite. And a new thing that we hadn't seen before, katsu style potato wedges. So that is um, potato wedges with seasoning, rapeseed oil and garlic puree. So yeah, that looks quite good. I hate to think what the calories are. It's not too bad actually, for half a pack 162 calories. So it's not too bad. That would just be for me and Abby because Brooke will not touch them. Although if I can persuade her to try them, she might like them because she likes spicy things. And for Brooke, I got the smoked paprika shake shake fries that she loves. Jack wanted salads for his lunches today and tomorrow, so he got a tuna pasta salad and a chicken and bacon pasta salad. So that as the ready-made salads are really good and they're two for three pounds as well, which is handy. The dairy now, we got two of the two pints of semi-skim milk. Jack got two packs of the Baby Bell cheese. He got his normal Weetabix protein drinks that he has normally just for his breakfast, but because he kind of has two breakfasts now, he has, when he's night shift, he has a breakfast when he comes in from night shift, 
and then he has a breakfast when he wakes up ready to go to his work. So he got a lot more than normal of these. He got 15 in total. He got the, the, the three flavours, chocolate, vanilla and is it ra strawberry and raspberry. But he got 15 of them. They are five for four pounds. So they're not a bad deal. We saw them somewhere else and they were really expensive. Yeah. And I saw these, I think it was maybe Sky's channel, one to one hauls. And I thought, I've not had them for ages. I need to get them. So I got the Muller Rice um, pack. There's three apple and three raspberry. And they're low in fat. I do like them heated up in the microwave. Obviously, take the lid off first because that is silver. Nobody wants an exploding microwave. Especially not after I set the grill on fire last night. But that is a different story. <laughs> I really can't cook. Um, if you want to find out about that, I'll link the vlog for you. Right, I'm going to put this away and show you the cupboard items. I meant to say actually, the Weetabix, if you're looking for them, they're where all the cereals and things are. They're not kept in a chilled cabinet, but and they don't need to be kept chilled. But I always put them with the chilled things because Jack likes his in the fridge so they're nice and cold when he goes to drink them. So if you're looking for them, you won't find them in the chilled bit, you'll find them beside all the breakfasts. Right, cupboard items. I got our usual bread, the King's Mill 50-50. Um, we all eat that and Brooke has it for our packed lunches. And I got the six croissants. We really like these because they're individually wrapped and Brooke alternates for our packed lunches. So will have a sandwich one day and croissants the next. And the fact that they're individually wrapped just keeps them nice and fresh for when she's having them for her packed lunch. I got two lots of kitten food because the wee greedy gannet is now having three pouches a day. So I got a pack of the Asda Tiger kitten. Um, you get 12 in there and I think that was £2.50 or something and then the whiskers ones which is £3.50 so it's quite a, a difference um, so I do tend to get one cheaper one and then either the whiskers or the Felix which are the same price so that's for Little Low Mint Brooke was needing more chocolate spread for her packed lunches she prefers Nutella but that's hazelnut and there's nut allergies in the school so it has to be the milk chocolate spread that she has so I just got the Asda own one they did have Cadbury milk chocolate spread but it was a pound dearer so I thought no the Asda one's fine I got the Sweet Freedom Chalk Shot we both love this on our cereal me and Brooke but Brooke particularly, she's been having cornflakes for a change, just normal cornflakes, just with a drizzle of the chalk shot over them. And to me, that's a lot healthier than the craves that she would normally have. So, yeah, I'm quite happy. It's £3.50 for this, which is quite expensive, but I don't mind because it's healthier than the usual chocolate sugary stuff that she eats. This is only 13 calorie per teaspoon and it is made from natural fruit extracts, carob and apple rather than sugar water, cocoa, rapeseed oil and natural flavouring. So yeah, it's much better for you than some of the chocolate sauces that you get. This can be used as a hot chocolate or as a drizzling sauce and you get the gingerbread syrup as well, but I've only ever seen that on Amazon. Oh, so good though. So yeah, I don't mind Brooke having that and I like that over my cereal with banana as well. I love these. The giant watsits and I always used to get the cheese ones because the flaming hot name put me off because I don't like hot things but to be honest they're not hot they've just got a lovely flavour to them. They still say new but they've been around for ages now. I only get these when they're on offer because they're normally £2 and I'd grudge paying £2 for a big bag of crisps but they were £1.25 today so I did pick up a packet. Our local co-op had been selling them for a pound, but I noticed yesterday they're back up to £2. Sticking with crisps, I got Abby's knickknacks. She loves the nice and spicy knickknacks. Chocolate for the girls, we got two packs of Freddos, one for each of them. I got a pack of twirls for Abby. A pack of Brooke's favourite peanut butter chunky Kit Kats. And Brooke likes a time out wafer with her lunch at school. And then for our movie night tonight, as well as the ice cream, I got, this is the first time that I've noticed this, the Asda Variety Popcorn. So there's two packs of sweet and salty, two packs of sweet and two packs of salty, which is perfect because Brooke likes salty, Abby likes sweet, and we usually have to get one big, huge bag of each and it goes to waste. So I thought that's a much better option. And I also got a bag of crispy minis, no, crispy M&Ms for Abby and the salty caramel M&Ms for Brooke. Right, just the drinks to go now. Right, coffee, and I'm a bit miffed to be honest, because the Dolce Gusto was on the three for ten pound offer, and I was just checking my receipt and realised that it hadn't came up as three for ten pound, and I thought, what's going on? 
then I realised I got one mocha and two of the latte macchiato but then I realised, look that one's got eight in it that one's got six in it, look, six, eight and you can see the difference in size I took them from the same place, the same section on the shelf so I'm a bit miffed at that um, I don't know if they're going to start doing them in sixes rather than eights it's always been eights, I've never seen them in a six before um, and I can't tell what was what on the receipt price wise because it's just came up as coffee it hasn't came up as like specific um, flavours so yeah I'm a wee bit miffed at that but anyway I thought I was getting three for £10 I got two latte macchiato and one of the mocha Jack got a Nescafe Gold Blend Altarica. He really likes that when he's night shift. Well, he likes it at his work, but especially when he's night shift because it helps keep him awake. Water now. I got the six bottles of sparkling natural mineral water for me. I like them going to my bed at night. I got the sugar-free Volvic Touch of Fruit Mango Passion flavour for Brooke for her uh, school. And for Abby, I got the sparkling sugar-free flavoured waters. It's the lemon and lime, blueberry and raspberry, and two apple and raspberry. They've got a lot smaller selection now of flavours. They used to do peach and things as well um, in their flavoured uh, sparkling water, but they've got a lot less now. They've got more still than sparkling. And I got a pack of the eight cans of cherry zero sugar Coca-Cola. Abby did want vanilla, but it was only the cherry flavour that they had. I got three bottles, as usual, of my Raspberry Pepsi Max, because that is life. And for a wee change for Brooke, I got a bottle of the Vimto Zero. So it's sparkling Vimto, zero sugar in a bottle. So that was everything that I got. Oh no, I did get one more thing, and that was a pack of 12 cans of just the Coke Zero, the ordinary Coke Zero, but they're for Granny Annie, so I've not got them here. They're in the cabin with her. Right, so in total, it was £115.35. So that is everything from my Asda haul today. I think that was quite expensive for what I got. Um, like I say, Jack's not eating with us this week. So yeah, we didn't get a lot of actual food and it was the same price as it normally is when Jack is eating with us. So I don't know. I know I got some popcorn and ice cream that I wouldn't normally get, but it just seems awful expensive. I think they're definitely creeping their prices up again. Does anybody else find that? Um, but they're still the best value supermarket as far as I'm concerned. I know Aldi and Lidl are cheaper, but I can never get everything that I need from there, so I end up having to go to two different supermarkets, and to me that's just false economy. So, oh, there's Clyde, and here comes Willa. So, yeah, that's how much it was anyway. So, I hope you enjoyed this little as the haul. If so, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks everyone, bye!